Well, uh, hello there. This time I am gonna play a new game I got just yesterday. I did an unboxing of it. Yes. Let's see if I can show you the box. It's oh, it's a big one. Carnival Zombie Second Edition, and I have it all set up here in front of me, and I'm gonna play solo. And uh, I'm going to play the six characters that are in, in the normal game, not the three deluxe uh, characters. I haven't really read a, uh, up on that. We played this game today, me, my wife, and our two youngest daughters, and uh, on easy mode, <laughs> and actually succeeded in a boat ex escape. We'll see how this goes. I'm thinking this will go much worse. I'm still going to play on easy. I'm going to show you uh, the board setup. We have here on page 14 of the rules, we do have the campaign setup, which I'm going to follow uh, without knocking over my tea. And uh, reading glasses, of course. So lay the board in front of you, shuffle the nightmare deck. The nightmare deck is here and it's shuffled. Shuffle the boss tarot deck, yes. Assign each player one or more characters. I do have all the six characters set up over here. Shuffle the item decks, they are shuffled. Place them separate on the board. Each player take the cat sheet and the miniature belonging, yes. Choose the activation order. And I've chosen the activation order here. It's uh, as I remember it from uh, uh, Board Game Geeks, uh, Game Night. The same. I think that's uh, as good of an order as anyone. Um, put the group marker in starting place. I'm choosing the uh, easy one. Clock marker at the dawn position. So that's there. Um, put the calendar marker on the day position on ticket one over here. Place next to the obstacles uh, terrain. They are set up over there. Pile of corpses we have here. Hello. Put all the infected in the abyss along with the number of survivors in the bag. So here is the abyss. As I have the embroidered bag, it's marked the abyss. And I am playing on easy. Can you see if I point down here? Yes, you can. So we have two survivors, and we have four paranoia cubes that goes into the abyss. Like so, a little bit of shake. So then we put the remaining survivors, founding tokens, blah, 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 next to the board. And we solved the story so far. So this is where I believe things have changed. I have only watched uh, Game Night's playthrough, so bear with me. Uh, and this is new. So we do have three steps for each character. And we're going to start up with the Capitan. So from this bag, let's see, I will draw a cube. And it's a green cube, which means that I will get a barricade, but I will also take a stress. Now I can either finish or keep going. I'm going to keep go. Go. Another green. So we get another barricade and take one more stress. Now, for the third step here, we can do a boss. And I'm going to do that just because I can. And this gives us one damage, and this T is not in a good position there. Let's see if I can reach all the way over here, and I will get an item. So I have the aerial support. I'm going to put this here. Um, that I can use during some night. Also... Uh, the captain, as I 
playing on easy starts with a Toscano cigar, which could be of use. And that's it for the captain. Now we move on to Columbine. And let's see, another one. And I'm gonna keep going. And it's a white one. That one gives nothing uh, as I'm reading it. Um, but if I draw that first and then draw this, it will add a stress. Columbine will also. Ooh, okay, so that's two stress. And I'm gonna get both of them. Let's see what we got. We got sandbags. So we gain pantalones, night ability until dawn. And Pantalone has the Engineer, which you can put up barricades with. And Columbine starts with the Explosive Bullets. It's a great one. Maybe I put this a bit too far away here. Oh well. Next up is Harlequin. Oh, a purple. That means we get one barricade, but we get two stress. That's not Harlequin. I put them in the wrong order over here. That's gonna bug me. So uh, let's see. I think that's the correct position. I am actually gonna keep going and see another barricade. And one stress. Do you want to risk this going into the red here to start off with? I believe I do. Oh, three. One, two, three. That was a bad move. So let's see. We now got the tomahawk. So he make, does two damage in close quarters. And then we have the fresh meat. Next up is this big fellow, Bry Hella, Bri Brig, Brig. Also one cube. Oh, that's the two two stress one. And another two stress. I am not sure. I want to keep pushing here. Um, and really go into the red. I think I'm gonna stop there. So no item for Brighelm. I'm gonna go to Pantalone. What's with this purple? They aren't that plentiful in the bag. And a white, nothing. But Pantalone is gonna draw a card. Oh, I forgot to, this is Briggs. Uh, hydrochloric acid. So Pantalone is getting this. So you got a dog whistle. That might be useful. And he also got the traps. As a starting item that is. And then we have Dr. Pestilence. I didn't draw this, did I? Got me two. You look for how much damage they do. And then we have Pestilence for two damage. And we get one barricade. Yes, we keep looking. And it's a white one. So I'm gonna risk that and see what I get here. That's another bad. So that's what we get, risk versus reward. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is a great one for my clumsy fingers. Uh, and we have the absinthe. You know, because booze removes paranoia. 
And that's this step. So we put everything back into the bag, like so. Or we'll put it on the side. I will take and reshuffle this. And let's keep going. So, when you have resolved the story so far for all characters in play, shuffle boss tarot cards, the game starts with the first hour of the first day. So, we won't draw from this, if I uh, recall correctly, or if I read correctly, that is. I'm going to remove yellow cubes from there. Let's see, you are recording. Good, 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 good. So, we do have four hours now, and I need to take my time here and heal up before anything bad happens. So I think I'm only going to move up here. So that takes us to, you see there's a plus one, I hope you can see that. So one hour to move and plus one for that. Now we go around the board. And first up here is uh, the captain. And he has the daytime ability that if we have any bosses out here, he can remove them from the next night. Uh, he does not, uh, gonna, he's not going to use that. Instead, he's going to recover stress. I'm going to use this hour mainly just for that. Um, and let's see. Uh, we have Columbine there. Ooh, I'm going to reach over for the sheet. Cheat sheets here. They have everything uh, laid out here in plain words instead. Yes, you can remove one obstacle. As you can see from up here, we do have two blacks and two oranges. Um, I'm going to do that next time, I believe. I'm going to kick it back to healing or resting. And then we have the harlequin. And the Harlequin is actually not going to heal. Uh, he's going to appoint uh, someone else to get an item. And I think it's Brighelm. And let's see if he just gets a card. I haven't played all of these. Yeah, you do a search for him. Uh, so we look down here. It's ineffected, but uh, Harlequin's special is that it doesn't uh, mean anything with the infected. Uh, so you get to choose an item or survivor, and I'm going to choose an item. So we got the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is a one-time use, but very, very useful and situational. So that's good. Uh, next up is Brig Home. So he's gonna heal. And then we have Pantalone. Uh, let's see what uh, health. Uh, yeah, he can use. Brig Helm can use another uh, one. Let's see. No, he won't. Uh, benefit from using uh, the Dr. Pestilence here. Uh, but Pantalone, I'm going to heal for two. And Dr. Pestilence is going to heal himself for three. Next time he'll heal Harlequin. So that's all one. Uh, that's Dr. Pestilence daytime ability to heal three. Uh, Pantalone can put four barricades down here, and I believe he will do that next hour here. So we're at the top again. So Captain, oh Captain, my Captain, he's going to do a search. And he does do find a survivor. So a survivor is added to the bag. Next up is the lady here, 
and we are gonna use her ability to remove one of the obstacles. Harlequin is gonna use his gift. I believe that's uh, you can use that special ability uh, more than one time. If if I'm wrong here, please let me know that I've cheated. So Harlequin is gonna draw a card for and what I want here I want I believe I want the captain to get an item and this was a good one he got the blessed bullets so he now fires an additional space uh, with his Remington. Next up is uh, Brig. Brig is going to do a standard search I believe. Will I risk that? I will risk that. I'm not sure that paid off. Uh, the infected down here makes me take one stress but then I can choose and I will take an item. I got the chainsaw. So instead of doing one dam two damage to one target, I can now do one damage to three targets instead. I'm not sure you see that. Yeah, you do see that out there. And we have Pantalone. Uh, who's going to drop four barricades on his turn? And we have the Doc, who's going to bring up the Harlequin here. So this is where we start off the first night. Uh, I'm using these player aids. No, <laughs> they're too big for that one. Um, which uh, lets you know everything you can do here started reading and, and got caught up in, in my own thoughts. So we move from this uh, to the sunset rituals. So we discover the terrains. Here we do have one of these and it's the black side. I'm gonna draw um, you're not seeing this, but I'm looking away and I'm drawing one blind. This one. And we are going to put that south one. So here, that's a building that restricts line of sight. So they will creep up on us, the bastards. Then we'll have two of these helpful terrain tiles. I'm not sure what they're called. They're called fortifications. So same thing here. I am not looking uh, and I will draw this one and I will draw that one. So this is the bell tower. And we'll see where that is placed. That is placed in north. I'm sorry, Leviathan, but you have to move. So up north here. That means that any characters here can also fire on this and this cave. And this altar is in the east. That means that all of the zombies that come here We'll go back in the bag, not on this little dangerous piece. So that's the first step. That's discover the terrains. Next up is place the barricades. And I'm definitely going to put two here. And let's see. Um, Let's put them in the middle, 
just to make sure I see them. I do have four more. Where do I want them? The characters from here can dominate these four tiles, so I can have a few more there. Probably I'm gonna load up on these sides here and another here, just because this building is restricting my view. So next up, deploy characters. So oh, it's a good thing I have pretty long arms. Because okay. So let's see here. We do have the captain who has a shotgun. Um, but with two range. We do have Pantalona here. Also have a shotgun. Not a shotgun, but a grenade launcher with three range. And no one else. So I'm going to put the captain here because of this terrain. I want to... Let's see here. I'm probably going to aim for the boat. Um, yes, I am. So, Pantalona here also uh, can take out whole groups. And I'm going to put him in the bell tower so he can cover the whole north side. Then we have uh, our sniper here. That I am also going to put here because that will have much more chance of actually uh, facing a boss. And I'm going to put this fellow down here. And let's just put you there and you there. And let's see how that works out. So. Next off, we do have the boss entrance. And we look down here for the night. We do have two bosses. So we do have the stylist. I'm going to put them in there instead. Just so I can see them better. I'm not sure. You have some glare here. I'll put them up here then. I'm going to read up on those. We have the stylist at least will have everything hit one harder and she's going to move or he's going to move someplace. Let's see. No, 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 no. Um... During step three of the night, infected and boss place her in a ring three of a random cave. Okay. So that's what that means. We're going to draw. And then we have the Beastmaster. Uh, all bar guests in ring one, the closest one. Uh, at the end of the night step, move one space closer to the cave in where Bestaris is. Uh, okay, so they will leave. It's a, a nasty one. I'm gonna find those. Yeah. And microphone connected. So we have the stylist and we do have the Bastarius. And let's start off from the top with the stylist, which will come in at East 1. So over here. And the Beast Master at North 2. So that's good because we have our best up there. Uh, hopefully, we can take them out quite fast. Okay, so. Uh, move the clock marker. Okay, so we move the clock marker there. First up is use items. And let's see, do I want to use anything here? 
this I need to use now or lose it forever. Also with the sandbags. Two hoaxes for fresh meat. Rocket launcher, no chainsaw, always equipped. Skip, move board, bargus, no, no, and no. I'm not going to use any items this first turn. So, infected entrance. Now, here's the fun part. Let's see. There's three. And there's three. Oh. And three. And three. Where are all the green? Where are the vermins? Nowhere to be found. They should be plenty of. Oh. And we do have a paranoia. And those there. Okay. So that's it for the first. I'm going to use these a bit closer to me. Um, so the paranoia here is going to hit, and I think it is going to hit the Capitan. Infected and boss movement toward the refuge. So we start up here. These move one, these move two. So one, one. And all the way there. Okay. And at the end of uh, the movement, these are going to move. Let's see here. You're going to move one, and so is you. And they are going to move closer. So there. That kind of sucks, actually. That really sucks. But, um, well, I believe that Columbine should be able to take them out. I'm going to double check her ability here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she's going to take both bosses. But the first thing we're going to start off with here is that my captain, captain or captain, is going to use his order token to heal, and it's going to heal here. So he'll remove the paranoia cube, and he'll heal those one stress each. Uh, yeah. That's the first thing. Then we do the captain's thing a bit, Bob here. So he has a shotgun with a range of two, but only one damage. And he needs to fire on the closest target here. So he's going to fire on this dog. Uh, just takes it out. Let's put it down here. And. I'm actually not going to stress him uh, just to fire on this because I do have my other character who will also do some killing and I think he'll deal with both of them. This is the more hazardous area. So we'll go to Columbine uh, and she has uh, a range of Three, and she doesn't have to fire on the closest or anything. Ah, oh, she's only doing two damage. Damn. Okay, which one do I want? Or rather, this one would have moved. I'm gonna have to backtrack here. She's gonna move to east too. She's gonna move here. Still no problem, I'm still going to do the same actions, but she only has one target and she's going to fire it twice. 
uh, one time and then she's gonna stress and fire another time. So first she'll do two damage and then she'll do another two damage. So the Beastmaster, Bistarius, is now gone. And I'm not gonna heal, I am gonna draw for a loot. And that's number four. So that's the Brig. And he has the medieval gravestones. That come might come in handy later on. That's her. Now we go to the Harlequin here. What can Harlequin do? Um uh, Harlequin ain't in the best of spaces here, but he's gonna fire uh, twice. So first shot takes this out, second shot does one damage to the stylist. And you don't have to drop it from a high altitude. And then he does have another action. He's gonna stress once and I'm gonna fire twice on the stylist. Removing it from the this tactical game at least. Um, that means we're going to lose a. Oh no, I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, that's it for that, and I am also going to take a loot, and that's for number two. So, lady up here gets the Precision Monocular. That's also a great one. I do not have to put them on this bastard of a track. And then we move to Brig. So he will do three shots at one damage each at three range. So this is his action. Boom. This one takes one. This one takes two. This is a Goliath. So let's see, can I put it here? Yep, I can. Do you want to stress to take another here? Let's see, Briggs. Uh, No, I'm not going to do that. Now we move on to Pantalone. And let's see. He has a range of three. Only one shot. And he can fire on all of these sides. So he's going to fire once here. Boom. Remove the two dogs. And then you're gonna stress. And he is gonna fire once more. And let's see where's the best target for that. Is he actually? I might want to. He can hit any of these arcs, but he's gonna hit up here. Or here, and that's only one damage each there. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that. Save that stress. So he now gets to place one of these barricades as his nighttime uh, special. Okay, so then we move on to the Dark Pestilence here. He is just going to fire once on this dog. Let's see if I can put it back there. Uh, and at the end he can treat himself to a stress recovery. Uh, that's that for 
what I can do. Now we move on to infected and boss attack. All infected and bosses in ring one and in the barricades uh, attack. So starting off here, this one is gonna kill off a barricade and so is this one. And that's all the attacks that are being made. After that, time moves forward. So we start off with, do I want to use any items here? We don't have any bosses left here, so I'm debating whether to use the explosive bullets or not, but I'm probably not going to do that. I think I'll hold off with using any of the items here. Yeah, I'm gonna just wait. Um, okay, so then we do the infected entrance. So let's see green. Green, no, that's not green, I want green. Hello there. <laughs> Come on. A few greens at least. I think I've drawn all the gray cubes I can. And we do have a paranoia for dark pestilence. Let's see, some tea. Okay, so now they move. So we start off with here, closer, closer. They go into the barricade boxes. Those should actually be all the way up here. And things are looking bleak. Oh well. <laughs> um, well, let's see here then. What order should we be using? No, you're not supposed to move in there because I had, I didn't see that one. So I'm gonna use the move or assault order for this fellow. And he is gonna take out this one in close quarters combat. I'm not sure if that's good use or not. Uh, time will tell. This was my second time playing. So that's the orders. Next up is, let's see, what does he do? He will be firing and he will be firing on these and taking them all out. Let's see if I can put them there. And do I want to use anything else here? Um, I can't fire on, yeah, I can, yeah, I'm gonna fire on this one to save a barricade. I'm gonna put it right there. Looks neat, doesn't it? Um, and then we move on to the lady here. And she can fire. Let's see, Pantalone later on is gonna fire twice here. And Harlequin is going to fire here. So her first action is going to take this out. And I'm going to stress 
and I'm going to do another shot. Um, no, I'm going to put them back into the abyss when she fires. I don't have to put them there. I'm going to put that there for now. So where does she want to fire? Probably take out this gray fellow here. So they go back into the abyss. So I can draw them again next time. And um, that's everything for her. Now we do to Harlequin. And he's in a bit of pickle here. He's going to need help. He's going to need a lot of help. But his first action is he's going to fire on these. And he is actually going to stress. And he is going to fire once more. And he's going to fire on this and this. this. Yep. Now we move to Brig here. And Brig will have to move. Because he can't stay there. I'm debating whether to move him here or here. I believe this might be the better choice. So movement and fire. And he's going to fire on these three. Oh, this is getting crowded. And then we have Pantaloni. And Panty is going to use his, he's going to stress one, but he's going to use the, the focused fire, which means he'll fire twice on the same uh, group of enemies and combine the damage. Otherwise, you do one damage and you just take out these, because these take two. Uh, but in the rules you said you can do a focus fire and you can combine two shots. So all of these, oh, that means I have to drop five cubes at the same time. This will be the doom of me. Sticky fingers. But I believe we are safe for now. Next up, is the good doctor. He cannot stress because he has paranoia. He can only fire once and he's going to fire on this little fellow. And let's see. Yeah. And then he heals and he heals one character from <laughs> that's himself. So I can remove this paranoia. And that's it for the day. Now the infected boss attacks. So this makes one attack and destroys one barricade. These attack one each, destroys barricades. And nothing else. So we move time forward. Third hour, last hour, we will have more of uh, the infected come out. Do I want to use items? Uh, let's see, none for Captain, none for Columbine, Harlequin, no, Brig, no, Pantalone, I cannot use, and Medico de Peste. So no items here. Next up, we do this again. Let's see green now. 
<laughs> oh, we have a survivor. Not gonna get him. What's up with these dogs? Okay. Then we do the movement. So you move there, 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 and there. You both move in there. And this and this here, 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 and here. Okay, exit strategy, west. I've been missing the altar all the time, haven't I? I shouldn't have put them over there. Oh well, oh well, oh well. That's my bad. And I don't don't think I put down a barricade for Pantalone either. So I actually gonna retcon because I would have placed that one there to keep them out. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if I already did that, but I, I don't have a memory of doing that twice. Okay, so next up now we do have the first here, and that's a fire action. Let's see, where do I want to have that fire action? Probably, probably up here for those guys. Yeah. So, Columbine here is going to fire on this one. They start clearing the west. And Pantalone. This is, it's a tempting target. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to, to take that. But I already hate this. It's a pretty good foundation I've found there, I believe. So we'll see here then. Uh, that was the captain's orders. So then it's the captain himself, and he's going to fire and take out these. Ooh. And what else am I going to do with him? I do believe they have that under control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, yeah, I should. This needs reinforcements. I've been neglecting it. But I. I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna let it be for now. So next up is Lady Columbine. And she is gonna fire. Gonna fire once here. See a good spot for this one right there. And she is gonna stress because I want her to fire again with those two damage and selective targets. And it's gonna be this one. So I have that clear. Next up is Harlequin here. And he can't do that much, actually. 
Um, he has to fight these in close quarters, and he's no close quarter fighter. Um, oh, wait, he, he has this one. Yes, 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 he has the tomahawk. So he's gonna kill this one. Two damage. Can I put that over there? No, it's killed in. Uh, 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 I remembered. And he's gonna stress. Dangerous, dangerous. Is he gonna stress? He's gonna take three damage from here. He's gonna stress and, and take out this one with this doggo. I'm gonna have to move someone there. And then we have Rig. And he is gonna fire. And he is gonna fire once, twice, and thrice. To take these out. Um, where can I put those up here? Ooh. And let's see here. He can kill three in close quarters next time. And do you want him to move? No, no. Yeah, we'll have to do that. And then we have Pantalone, who will have to fire here. We'll take out those two. And then stress to move here, because he can put down a barricade there. That means they'll only take one damage. Um, and then we have the Doc, who is going to kill this one. And it's going to stress to move over here and treat Harlequin. Gonna have to get that up. Next up, after that is the affected and boss attack. So here they'll take out the barricades. Here this one will start off with attacking, and his attack goes to the barricade. This one attacks one of the characters here, and that's the dog pestilence. This dog removes one of those and nothing else. Now we advance the time and now we have the dawn phase. So the group decides which pit they are going to flee through. So it's the west, we're going to go through the west. Character assault action choosing a target in that pit. So the captain will do two damage to one target. Columbine is going to make one. Uh, Harlequin, one. And Brig, one. And that's all uh, of the left ones. I do believe this is right. Correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, every character can do this, not only those in that arc. Because if that was the case, I would have done differently. Uh, then this, uh, uh, the dock would have stayed there, and I would have chainsawed three of them, and I would have uh, cut one down. That's one stress for Harlequin there. Okay, uh, those are left that uh, will then attack, they do not. Um, 
and then we move on to the day phase. And I'm going to read where I put the rules because the last things here on the dawn phase aren't really described. Uh, let's see, I knew I had it here somewhere. Hello? Effective and boss attacks. Is it on the last page, of course? Yes, it is. Um, remove any survivors from up there. They attack. Remaining barricades are moved to the storage. Actually, have eight left. That's decent. Um, all infected from the tactical map and a pile of corpse into the abyss. Remove bosses from the tactical map. Uh, paranoia cubes in the storage are removed. Characters terrains are removed. And uh, this is a rescued survivor since everything there is cleared. This is dead. Move the to sunrise and this to the next. So, I will do everything that the rules say to me. So, these are removed, those are removed. All of these are put back into the abyss. The paranoia cubes. And this pile, whoops, oh, that felt good. Um, maybe I should have used some items here. I am pretty hurt, uh, but I'm hoping this will be okay. So these will be put away, this one and that one. We won't have any bosses following us. Okay. So, next up, we do have the Sunrise Rituals. Let's see, we have been running for one hour. I do have another hour of memory left. That's good. So let's keep going. So we start off with reshuffling the Nightmare deck. Okay, so first business, order of business for today is foundering of the city. So we do have this at number two. Where did I put those tokens? Here. So this is now underwater. Next up is event of the day. Infested place. For this day, each character performing the search action gets plus one stress. So we don't want to do a search then. I will put that in the center as the centerpiece. Then we move the clock marker. Okay. So I am aiming for this. That means I will have to move here or here. I can move all the way as well. But this is a better place to fight and it only takes one hour. So you're going to take one and two moves. So one and two because I, then I have two hours to spare. <laughs> because I need to heal. So the captain. Uh, no bosses there to remove. So He's just going to heal. Uh, Lady Columbine is also going to heal. Harlequin here is going to not going to heal. <laughs> he is going to tell which character do I want to upgrade here. 
I think I want to have a captain have a better weapon. Come on, come on, come on. No, a cooked hat. When a paranoia cube is drawn from the abyss, assign it to a character of your choice. Okay. Should I do that or should I do a search rather? Let's see. I remember this so badly. Um, no, she can't do uh, He can't do that. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, he needs to do the search action. Let's see if he gets a survivor. No, that's correct then. Then right. I'm gonna heal. Pantalone is gonna heal. And the doc is gonna heal Harlequin. Okay, so we move on to the next phase, and it is our intrepid commander here who's gonna place three barricades for his action. Um, then we have the lady. See, we do have two blue ones there. Am I okay with her being there? I think I am. So I'm going to remove one of those blue. Then we have Harlequin, who is again going to tell someone to do a search as to Pantalone this time. And he's got the upgraded grenade launcher. It now does two damage instead of one. And then we have Bright Fellow over there who is going to. What is he going to do? Is he going to search? Um, he's going to search. Let's see. Found a survivor, did you? I'm not sure that was worth the stress. Um, Then we have Pantalone, and Panty is going to put down four barricades. And then the Doc here is going to treat himself. Okay. And we do have the Dawn Face. So for that, we turn this over. We discover the terrains. Now we do have one here. So I'm just going to do one of these blue. This one. Oh, it's a manhole. That manhole is showing up at east two. Or east, this is always two. There will be one additional zombie coming from there. And we do have one of these that helps us. So this one it is, it's the altar again. I can uh, forget it this time as well. It's in the west. It's the way I want to move. Uh, next up is place the barricades. I have a shit ton this time. So let's see. Do I have enough to place two on each? I do not. Almost though. So if I do it like that, because this is the way I want to move, so I'm going to probably have to focus there, yep. Okay, same thing as last time, these guys can fire on everything. Let's do the captain on the altar, 
and Pantalone on the opposite side there. And Brig is good at dealing with multiple. Uh, I'm going to put you there as well. And let's see, I'm going to put the dock up there with you, and I'm going to put the lady. Yeah, I'll put you back there. Oh, look, another hidden footprint. Um, okay, so next up is boss entrance, and this time it's three of them. So, oh. The martyr, I hate that guy. Smiler and flagellant. Flagellant. I'm gonna find those in the box. This one I know. And Smiler is this fellow. And the flagellant. Is this fellow? So, what do these guys do? This fellow, the martyr, he's a real asshole actually. He's coming in on the east one. It takes two wounds to, uh, to uh, do one wound on him. Uh, the smiler, I'm not sure. Probably. Is an uh, let's see one of them new. Yeah, for each stress dealt to characters by bosses when infected, place a new infected in ring three. Yeah, okay, so he will get you a lot more. And the flagellant characters cannot choose to get one plus stress to perform additional actions. Anytime you draw a paranoia, put on a flagellant. Oh, okay, so we cannot stress to do additional action. That's bad. He's got to go. And in West 1. So I have to keep that there. Yep. Okay, so then we move the clock marker. I believe that we now have to use some items. I do not, let, let's see, those I have to use now, it's... Um, I am going to use the Toscano Cigar. You remember that one? I get plus one hit for each fire action. I do more damage. I need to do that. Um, nothing up there. Pantalones. I do have a lot of those. I'm going to regret that. Um, not that one. Not that one. Over there. No. I'm probably going to do the traps here. Um, there. Maybe I had to do this before. No. Items with a f uh, night hour icon can only be used only in the first hours. So I can use those now. So that one gets trapped. So no infected will get there. And nothing of the other sorts there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see how many bad things we can find here. If we can find any 
green this time. I'd be happy. Paranoia cube. That was a bad thing, I believe. And the last the oh, two paranoia cubes, of course. Let's see. Um, anytime you draw paranoia, put it on the flagellum tarot. The flagellum gets plus one life for each paranoia cube on its tarot. So the good thing here is that we won't get paranoia, but he will get stronger. And he has to go fast. So now everything moves. Get all the way up there. You stay in place, see your movement, and you move up here. So, this is a bit of pickle. Uh, because the captain here, yeah, he does have two range, and it does get, yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is where the aerial support comes in. Two damage to everything. Uh, well, I'm going to use it next time when there's more. I'm going to use it next time when there's more stuff out. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so he is just going to fire twice. No, he can only fire once. I haven't used this. I haven't used this. So Pantalone can fire and Columbine can also fire. Yeah, he's going to tell these to fire. And they're both going to fire here. So two damage from Combine becomes one damage there. Two damage from him, also one damage there, and these are gone. Oh, sweaty fingers. Now it's Captain, my Captain here. And he is gonna fire twice. No, once on that bloke. And that's, there's nothing else he can do then. And then we have the lady who is going to fire one more time there. And Harlequin here, he has a free move. A free move. Which he's going to use to get here. I'm going to fire twice. If I twice with one damage at two range. And then we have this. Now I need to look up for one stress. Is it I can use one other person's ability? No, uh, it's the knight ability. I'm looking at the wrong one. So he is just going to fire. And he has three shots. And he's going to fire once and twice. The great cube taking two damage. And then we have Pantalone, who is he's gonna spend his dog whistle to move all dogs to the third here to save 
barricades. They'll soon be back and in greater numbers. So I'm going to put that there as used. And that costs no action. He can also put down one of those there and he's going to fire on the martyr. And then we have the dock who's all alone. What can he do? He has one range, one target. Yeah. He can't do anything actually. Um, so probably best thing here is to move into some other bloke's space and heal them because he can't be healing himself now. Is it full? So let's go there and let's go from the top. That's everything. And we have the attacks, and there are none because I have cleared them all out. Time moves forward. And do I want to use the explosive bullets over there? He's going to have to fire. This would be wonderful if that was gone before her turn. I'm not going to use the, the explosive bullets. Um, nothing else to be used now. So if I want to use the fresh meat, I do not wish to use that now. Maybe next turn. So into the abyss. Survivor, I'm sorry, you're gonna die. Then we move you there, you there, and there. That's a big clump. You stay put. So that's where we are. No more paranoia cubes, luckily. So the captain is going to order What's he going to order? Uh <sighs> Oh well, he's going to use the heal on these. I want to use this one for attacks later on. Let's just do a check recording and a check recording. And uh, he's going to do his first action here and he will kill this. Flagellant, since he has his plum plus one hit, and he is going to draw loot for himself, and it's the sword of shotgun.
which upgrades his ability quite a bit, I would say. Because now he has the ability, since the flagellant is gone, to stress. And he will take these out. And they will go into the abyss because he's on the altar. Hooray! Um, and then we move on over to the lady. Who will be firing twice now that you can on this bastard that's all she's gonna do but then I'm a little bit of a pickle here okay, I, either I kill this one or uh, and then don't deal with those but I'm gonna not move ahead of myself. Harlequin here. Um, he has a free move. And what is Harlequin going to do? It's going to do a free move here. And then it's going to fire. And it's going to take out these two. Oh, one off, bastard, sticky fingers, and one stress. And he's going to stress and fire again. And this time he is going to fire on these. Don't get greedy now. Just put him there. Then we have Brig, who is going to fire one, two, three. And he's going to stress to fire again. And he is going to one, two, and why not three? I'm gonna lose some barricades there, but you can't do everything. And then we have Pantalone. Now there's a choice between wiping those out or wiping that one out. <sighs> I believe that these will pose a greater threat. He will do one damage, one barricade. Uh, I believe yeah, he only has one, still one attack, although he does three damage, but the barricade soaks up any attack. So he's going to fire on these, oh, six of them, that is, <laughs> and then he's going to fire again just to put one more damage there. Um, and then we have the dock. The dock can actually kill that. He can. He's gonna use two actions. One damage each and you combine them uh, focus fire to do one damage. That took a lot of firepower, a lot of firepower, and I forgot to use the aerial. Um, let's do some loot, shall we? For himself. Let's see what that is. That is the Lombros works. When using your character's day ability, recover one stress. So when he heals someone else, he also heals himself. That's great. That's really good. Now for the bad part here. Because we're through. These will make two damage. These will do two damage. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Two damage. 
time moves forward. So, do I want to use any items here? I do not. I believe I can fly. Yes, 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 yes. Um, next up is, uh, uh, let's see, <laughs> wandering mind, I'm sorry. Um, we refill these. Pantalone didn't put down a barricade. You should tell me when I do those mistakes. So, sorry, survivor, you're gonna die there. I really want to deal with this boss as well. I think I can. I have a plan. A cunning plan. But now they move. So these will move into that, that, and that. They will also move there. Occupy that. It was a bad plan, and I realize. But a plan nonetheless. So that's everything for that. Now I am gonna take my actions and I'm gonna use this aerial support. East two. So everything here is obliterated. I do believe I still have to put these on this track, fortunately. And south one. That's good. So you take two damage. There. That cleared everything up a bit. So let's see if I can have a discard pile there. And The move action. Move, move, move. Uh, orders. Or uh, a melee. So you're going to use your chainsaw to get these out. I think that's the best one. Then we have to deal with this lot somehow. But you are going to fire here. And you are going to take those all the way back to the abyss. And for your second action, you're not doing an action. Okay. So... Columbine, Columbina, Columbina, Columbina. Let's see, what can you do? Pantalone has got this. That's no trouble at all. So, what can she do? Um, if I move her and the dock there, that won't, uh, that's no good. 
That's not good at all. I'm debating here in my mind if I can kill this and stave off any bad people down there. I do not think I can. So I'm going to move the stress to take out one of them because I do believe I have only one up there. And uh, that's it. And then we do have Harlequin, who's there. He's going to use his tomahawk here. And now the question here is this is a big problem. They're going to get knocked out more or less here. It's going to take a stress to fire over these and kill those. I mean, I'm going to take seven damage. Yeah, that's that will just get them alive, barely alive. And then we do have this bloke who's going to do three damage to the smiler. Have I been? I'm been missing his ability, haven't I? For each stress dealt to the character by bosses or infected, place a new infected in ring three. They haven't been doing damage by because barricades have been it's now it's the first time, so I haven't been missing it. But it's gonna take this bloke out. And yeah. More loot is better. So it's for the lady. Oh the way over here. And it's a spyglass. When using day ability, remove one obstacle or add one fortification. So, not the best one, but not the worst one. Uh, and he also have one more action. So, he's going to stress... But he is only going to kill one. And then we have Pantaloni. I wonder if I, I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice some some barriers here because I'm going to move them, Go, move here, and then I'm going to take a stress, move it in the right way. I'm gonna fire here. I'm not firing over those. I'm not firing on another cave. So I'll reduce the damage by three. And then I can put down a barricade. Can I put it there? Yes, I can. And then we have the dock. Who will fire on this up there perhaps yes and for his second action now he might as well take a stress because I'm going to regain a stress and just get something out and save a barricade okay That's everything, and this is now used up. This is also used up. So let's see, where do we stand? 
We're gonna go west, and there's only one there. I'm gonna put it there just because I can. And no, let's just wait a bit because I I went ahead of myself here. Infected a boss attack. So no attack here. They will attack, and. This will soak up one, but let's see. Columbine will take two, and Pantalone only take one. Yep. These will chew two barricades and nothing else. Now time moves forward and we're in the dawn phase, and then that happens. Um, And I think I'm, I'm gonna need that Dawn face. It was the last page again here. So let's see. Uh, barricades go back to storage. I forgot that the medic does extra damage. Because he has this uh, I believe at least. Yeah, he does he does one extra damage because he has uh, a survivor with him. Put in storage all rescued survivors. I actually re rescued another one here. This one is dead dead dead. Remove all the infected. And from this as well, let's see. And Remove the bosses. Oh, that felt good. Moving all of those away. And the paranoia cubes will go back into the abyss. Characters come down here. And any terrain. Move the clock marker, move the calendar there to the day position. So that's all good, fine and dandy. Then we do the reshuffle, like so. Then we do the foundering. And it's at four over here, no big problem. Then we do the event of the day. Ingenuity, each car, 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 character may discard an item card to draw a new item card from his deck. Oh, those should be removed as well. Yes, yes. Yes, let's do that. So the captain gets the jujube juice. What do you want to have? Uh, I'm gonna remove the spyglass. See if I can draw something else. Place a survivor in the abyss at the start of each day. So I'm just going to turn that over. Here I'm going to ditch the fresh meat and have place arounds. Columbinas. 
Colombina. And let's see, what can I do here? This I'm not going to use. And we get a megaphone. Draw eight cubes from the abyss. Place all survivors drawn in the cave. So we've got choice, maximum one for cave. Yeah. You know. Uh, I'm going to remove this one to draw another of you. Experimental Serum. A character recovers all his stress during this night. The character cannot get stressed to perform a second action. That's good if someone is really damaged. So, Okay, so that's this one. Uh, move the clock marker. And I'm going to spend one hour to get here. Now, we're going to search for the boat. That means that we need to get the boat somewhere here. We need an item. No. So you take a stress. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can find. So let's see here. Infected. Same as infected for the search action. Boat is not found. Yep. So I still find an item. Here are braidings. Make an order token available. Yep. Uh, next up is lady. Search. Same thing. So what do you get? Apart from a stress, <laughs> a die shoe. So it's just better at close quarters fighting. Harlequin, come on. No, 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 no. Pocket watch. You get plus one action during the day. Yeah, you may use that. Right. Finally, item, which means that the boat is found, and we are going to move on to that uh, at the end here. So, pantaloni, you heal, and medic, you're going to heal. Let's start with you. And when you do that, you also heal yourself. So, for next action here, um, I'm gonna heal, gonna heal, gonna heal, 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 and you're gonna heal her. Nothing for you. That's good. Then we're gonna start dropping barricades here. So, barricades, barricades, let's heal you just because, and heal you, and then we do four, and you can, let's just waste it and heal you. Okay, so I will do a small cut here and I will be back. But now we are going to move on to this. Um, let's see if I can use this one to get a bit of a close up. Uh, so this is the boat. We do have this up here for setup. So setup is we skip the sunset rituals. We place the boat tile. I'm holding this by hand now, so I'm sorry if it's a bit wonky. Uh, 
like so. Place the group marker on this icon. Shuffle all nightmare cards, put six of them in a box, place the 12 remaining cards face down tactile map, three cards in each on paper, place all characters miniature on the character sheets, place around the boat tile all barricades cube in storage, take the boat tokens and keep them at hand. Okay. So these are the boat tokens. And I'm going to do this. Shuffle all of these. Put six of them in the game box without looking. So that's six of them. I'm not going to put them in the game box because that's a bit off. Then put three cards in each pit per ring. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. I'm going to move it upwards. And one, two, three. Okay. So, this is what we have to navigate through. Place all characters. Place around the boat tile all the barricade cubes in storage. So, This is the barricades. Okay. Special rules. The night ends when... Let's see here. The night ends when there is a success, victory conditions are met, or a failure, sinking the boat condition, or all the characters are incapacitated. Any barricade cube that gets destroyed is taken from its place next to the boat and put in storage. Sinking the boat. If there are no more barricade cubes next to the boat tile, then the boat is sinking and the game ends immediately in failure. Victory conditions. Move the group mark marker off the tactical map. Yes. So, now we have the character positions. And we do have the helm. We do have uh, the crow's nest. We do have the maps and we do have uh, the pumps. So I'm thinking here we probably want to have El Capitano on the crow's nest. And let's have Lady here on the helm. Or rather, Let's have her on maps and Harlequin on helm. What can go wrong? And then, just because I am going to put uh, Pantalone here on uh, the pumps, and these are on the bridge. We're going to put them next to here. So I can see them at least. You have some glare here, right? Yep. Okay. So, um, I am just reading. And without my reading glasses, that's not going too well. But, um, this is just an example, so you can follow it. Um, but essentially, you do not use time, bosses, uh, tiles, um, what that is, or day-night cycle, you draw cubes. So I'm going to move this here. So we still follow um, the player aid here. Yeah. So um, use items and not that useful, I believe, here. Um, 
but an infected entrance here instead. Draw 10 cubes from the abyss. Modify this according to the following conditions. Plus 2 if the group marker is on a card showing infected result. No. Plus 1 per goliath in storage. No. <coughs> Minus 1 per character in bridge. There are 2 there, so we're down to 8. Minus 1 per survivor in storage. That's 2. So we're down to 6 cubes. So that's four, five, six. And then we do for here. This is one character not on the bridge gets plus one stretch, stretch, stress. Puss put it back in the abyss. So one of these gets. So I'm just going to start off from the top. Same with this. And these mean one character on the bridge gets plus one stress. And that's these. So they get a lot of that. Then it's our actions. And we start off with the captain who is at the crow's nest. The character who occupies Crow's Nest can turn face up one Nightmare card on the tactical map. So let's see if we can sail to the west here. That's a good one. That's a question mark. So I'm going to stress once and see. So this is east. Next up is the lady who can then switch two cards around. And I'm not sure I want to do that. No. Um, I can move these, but I, yeah, why not do this? So the East card here um, is in its right place. I'm not going to use another action for that. Next up, we do have Harlequin, who's at the helm. So I'm going to move, try to move here to the east. And that's south. So no, you look at this down here. South, no, needs to be there. And then we get to the pump. No, nothing to pump. And then up to the bridge. And they can remove Goliaths from the storage, and that's nothing. So then, where is it? We follow this. Let's see. Yep, it just says here turn sequence. I did it in wrong order. Result would have been the same. So. We're at the pumps, and then we'll go up to character positions. Um, first, we do the crow's nest. And I, I'm going to keep looking here for one action. That's another south. I do have two south now. Okay, so let's look at this then for one. That's a west one. Okay, so maps then. So if I use the maps and switch those around, and then I stress myself. I did this the wrong way, didn't I? Captain is at the crow's nest. And then I take this. And put there. And then we do the helm. So I will move. Harlequin here will move. I will group token here. And will stress to move us one more. Then we have the bridge. No Goliaths there. 
Then we do the infected entrance. And we're still drawing six cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the green ones are for um, those in uh, the bridge. The purple one will destroy two and get uh, put back. I will just do two hull integrity. And this will do to some of those, which we'll put there. I've been switching those around. So you should be there and you should be there. Yeah. And then I can do pumps. And I am going to do that because I do have pantalona there. So I'm going to put those two back there. Then we go back. I'm going to put these into the bag again. No, the paranoia. Sorry. Assign it to a character. Just going to assign it there to the dock. Um. And we go up to character positions. And I'm going to keep it as it is. Crow's nest. And let's just take this one then, as east one. And we can do that one as well. So we have a road to the east, 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 east. But I am going to, let's see here, maps. That's the lady. I am going to switch this with this one to find myself a way out. Because then I do helm action, this, I stress, and I am out. I do believe I played this right. Uh, if not, please, please, please uh, leave a comment down below. Be respectful, as always. I do hope you enjoyed this. Um, just got it yesterday, been playing it twice, spending a lot of time reading the rules, trying to get everything in, in order and so. And I know a lot of people out there are waiting for this. So I thought I'd just do a quick and dirty recording of this. Nothing fancy or all that jazz. But um, I do really like this game. Uh, it's, it's even better than uh, what I imagine it to be. I also got the wife and the kids to join in. And, and uh, they are asked when we should play it again. So this is going to be staying up on uh, this table for a little while longer um, well that's all i have so take care and bye bye